Rebecca. And my name is Jojo. And today's topic is going to be about, you know, the prophecy of 2012. We'll be doing this Eve show every Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. on powerevangelism.net forward slash live. And you, go, you could call us at 561-337-9259 for more information about today's show. You, you can also email us at powerevangelismministries at gmail.com. And, you know, we're going to have so much fun talking about this topic, you know, and find out, find out people's information and, and, you know, opinion on this topic. So what exactly is the prophecy of 2012? Well, you know, from what I've been hearing, people, people are supposed to die. The whole world supposed to crash in 2012. So I don't think that's possible as long as God is here. Jesus so Christ. we're going to be walking around and taking other people's opinions on this topic. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Stay Focused. We have some new guests here, and your names are? Tyler. Savannah. Olivia. Okay, now today's topic is about 2012 and the prophecies that have been given. So, first off, what, what is your opinion about the year 2012? I think that it's a coincidence of just two cultures. Co coincidence, I'm not quite sure. What do you mean by coincidence? Uh, they just picked the same date, the same time. Well, maybe they are using the same calendar. They could have already gone overseas. We're not quite sure because it was so far back within. What do you think? Well, I know we're going to have maybe a new president. They might build some things that they think are going to happen, like that one movie and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> maybe the world might end. <laughs> so what do you think? Um, I think... I know that they have the 2012 Olympics coming up in London, so I know that's going to be pretty big. Okay. okay, so she's excited about the Olympics, and he thinks it's a coincidence, and she's talking about the movie. So can you give me more details about the movie? What movie? What what movie? What is that? I don't know exactly what it's called, but I know they said the world's going to end. Hopefully that's not true, but if it is, then that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Um, about the movie? I think it looks like a nice movie, but I don't think the world will end. Why? Uh, well, I guess it could at any given moment because God, he has the power to do that. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not fully capable of saying why I don't think the world's supposed to end. Okay, now do you think anyone knows when Jesus is going to return? No, I think it just could happen at any given moment. Okay, so all this false prophecies about December 21st, 2012, no one knows that they, the, year the hour, the minute when the Lord will return. The year 2000, they, they, they said that something's going to happen, you know, and nothing happened. We're still here. Yeah, we're still That's here. That's the funny part. Do you have anything to say? What? That's actually a long time ago. A long, long time ago. What is it? That's a long, long time ago that was. <laughs> He's so adorable. Okay, so you guys have any words of encouragement for all the viewers out there? Like, just put some sense into them. Let them know that what the world is telling them is not true because no one knows when he's going to return. I don't think it's going to happen because they said it so many times, so don't, like, still live how you're living. Don't think badly. Think positive and hope for the best. <laughs> so why is a positive mindset very important? Because if you don't think positive and you think negative, and if it comes to that day and you're all down, what about the next time they think? You're going to be negative for your whole life, and you're going to be sad. <laughs> so what kind of things have people started doing in this, like, preparation? Like, once they heard this false prophecy and, and they all started doing crazy things, do you know one thing at least that they began to do? Um, they, like, try to get everyone prepared and stuff. They're saying, like... Be aware that the world's going to end, like, but it's not going to end, I don't think, because they said that many times and it's never ended, so. Yeah, I mean, you shouldn't go, you know, by what you hear most of the time because everything is false. Like, people like people like to see proof, but, you know, they said the world was going to end in the year 2000. Nothing happened. Okay, 2002, a lot of hurricanes happened, but everybody's still alive, you know, <laughs> so what's the whole point of you making a false prophecy? So... You know, like, now, how, yeah. 
Sister Jojo, who are making these prophecies? Like, who's saying all this nonsense, telling people prepare for the end, prepare for the end, December 21st, 2012? Who's saying all this? Well, I know one thing. These two, like, ancient times people, they made calendars, mm -hmm. and they compared them, and they had the same dates. That's why I think they're thinking in 2000 and stuff. Do you think it's, who, who do you think they're getting these dates from? Like, Who's, like, who gave them the knowledge? Like, where are they getting this source of information from? Is it from Jesus or is it from wicked powers? Wicked powers. I think wicked powers. Because you know for sure that no one knows when Jesus is going to return. It's like we're just waiting. Just you live the day. I mean, you just repent, give your life to Jesus Christ, and do your best to be born again. Yeah. <laughs> Comment? Um, I think it's just a coincidence, and like I said, he could, Jesus could come down at any given moment and just. So why are men trying to decide when he's gonna come back? Why do you think men are trying to do that? Mm, maybe just to put in our heads so they could have a saying, maybe, or maybe they just like putting things like, maybe they just like telling people certain <laughs> things. I believe they also want to scare people so that yeah. they can start controlling them through that fear and through, yeah. like, you know, first the, the enemy tries to desensitize you and then tries to control you because of the fact that you're going to be afraid. So when you're afraid, how do you react? Uh, just, I go crazy. <laughs> okay, so you become desensitized. So you don't know what you're doing anymore. So yeah. let's say you see the nastiest, biggest bug in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I had to use bugs, sorry. <laughs> and, like... You don't know what you're doing. Like you just see it and you freak out and start panicking. Uh, do you think you're controlling your actions at that moment or you're just reacting? You're just reacting. Okay, so because of the fact that they're all telling the people this crazy prophecy, what do you think people are going to do? Um, not be able to control themselves and go crazy. Like, you know, just react to the situation. Now, what, what kind you know of people what am I, I talking about, Jojo? You know Georgia? what I think? I think people are going to go crazy in the year 2012. I pray to God, yeah, I mean, like, you know, that they don't go, you know, nuts because you guys not supposed to believe in what you know like, you, you guys heard until you guys see proof. But I, th I, I, I think in my mind, I just think that people are going to go ahead and sell their stuff or something or do something. They're going to start, like, things. trying to prepare, making underground homes and shelters. Mm -hmm. Now, what kind of people specifically do you think are going to be safe? And they are not going to worry about anything because they know that God is in control. What kind of people? Uh, people that believe in God, um, people that go to church and study the Bible. But so, who's our Savior? God. Who's his son? Jesus. So, what did he come to do for us? Protect us, save us. He also died on the what for us? The cross. So, do you really think he's going to let men try to decide when he should return? No. Once again, no one knows the day, the hour, it's just random. I mean, you should live every day as if it's your last. But don't, don't go do anything crazy now. Yeah, do not do nothing <laughs> you know? crazy. Don't listen to anybody who's telling you, oh, the world's going to end in 2000, 2012. Come with me. No, 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 no. Bad idea. So what's your comment, Miss Olivia? Um, like, just don't believe it. If it happens, it happens. You can't stop it from happening. And they also try to make crazy movies to also cause like even more fear in the people. Mm -hmm. And when the people start fearing, it's like there's no more. They have no ground. They just they're just like a tail following the head, and the head is whoever's leading them onto that crap that they're talking about. Now there are also people who go draw powers from wicked sources. Like they they become they go to like psychics or witchcraft to try to find out. But you know that's not from Jesus, so they're ne they're never gonna know. No one and knows. You know what? The devil's a liar, so the devil will lie to you and his agents. So we must be very careful. And what else? Um, just don't believe what people say and know that God will take us at any time that he wants and man ain't going to control when he comes back down. Do you have any last comments? Just hope for the worst.